What's up guys? I'm Remy Ashton and you're watching Awesomeness TV. Tag along in my world of DIY as I make some of the most Tumblr parties for myself and my best friends. From invitations to treats and decor, whatever you need, I've got you girl. Today we're getting into the Thanksgiving mood and throwing the cutest and coziest Friendsgiving. So before my friends get here, I'm just gonna make some treats and decor to get all the Thanksgiving vibes going, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is set the mood with some festive decor. So I'm gonna be making this perfect Tumblr backdrop for some adorable Instagrams. I have this beautiful window behind me in this dining area, and I've decided to cover it up with some pink wrapping paper to act as my base. So my pink backdrop is up. So the first thing I'm adding to my really cute pink background are these cute little fans here and this cool party garland. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and take these little gold letter balloons that I picked up at the local craft store and I'm just going to string them out on some twine and then tape them up. And now for the finishing touch, we have some leaf garlands. This turned out so cute. It looks exactly like how it did in my brain. I love it so much. And now it's time to take our Instagram pictures. Next up, I'm gonna make some DIY candles to use as decor to dress up my Thanksgiving table and they're going to smell like the most fall scent that I could think of, which is pumpkin spice, so here's what you'll need. I have this mixture here that I made with a quarter cup of olive oil and two tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice. Next, you'll need half a pound or eight ounces of candle wax, some tape and a popsicle stick to stir, some scissors, and then just lastly, a jar and a candle wick. Now, we're gonna take our candle wax and melt this over on the stove on medium heat. So now that this is all melted, we can go ahead and take this over to our pumpkin pie olive oil spice mixture and we're just gonna slowly pour it into a heat resistant container. And then take a popsicle stick and you can just stir this all together so it's nice and incorporated. And then all we're gonna do is just pour this into our container and this one has like a little spigot so it makes it a little bit easier to pour. Go place it in the fridge for an hour to let it cool and just be careful because it is a little bit hot. And then we have a finished candle, so let's go. So my candle is all cool now. As you can see, I tied a little twine around the top. It makes just like a cute little extra touch. And also just a fun fact, as you let your candle cool, it is going to lighten in color, which is why mine is so pale now, but it looks so cute. It smells amazing, and it's gonna make the perfect addition to my Friendsgiving table. The best part about Friendsgiving is probably the Thanksgiving feast. So we're gonna start off with some delicious treats, and I'm starting off with some pumpkin spice latte rice crispy treats. And all you're gonna need is three tablespoons of butter, four cups of original Rice Krispie cereal, some pumpkin pie spice, one bag of mini marshmallows, two cups of pumpkin pie spice chips, half a cup of Cocoa Krispies, and two tablespoons of instant coffee. First, I'm gonna start off by taking my butter and taking it over to my saucepan and melting this on medium heat. Now all I'm gonna do is just add in my instant coffee and my marshmallows and let that all melt together. So now all I need to do is just mix in my Rice Krispies. It smells so good. It smells like chocolate and coffee. I love homemade Rice Krispie treats and this is like next level Rice Krispie treats. So I'm so excited. So I'm just transferring the Rice Krispies to my pan and if they're a little sticky, all you have to do is just take some butter and put it on your hands and then you can press them down after if you need a little life hack. And I melted down my pumpkin spice chips. So I'm just gonna go ahead, pour it in. The last step is just to take our pumpkin pie spice to give it that really fun Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving feel. So, just a little Thanksgiving kick. That looks perfect. And that's it. They smell amazing and I can't wait for my friends to eat them. And to complete this Friendsgiving meal, I'm going to make some amazing s'mores dip that is perfect for sweater weather. So all you're gonna need for this is just some graham crackers, some chocolate, any chocolate of your choice, and some marshmallows. First of all, all you're gonna do is start by taking a cast iron skillet. I have this one here. And we're just gonna cover the bottom in chocolate. That looks good. And then all you're gonna do is just take your marshmallows and just cover the chocolate with them and they're all gonna melt together. And then we're just gonna throw it into the oven for five minutes at 450 degrees. And then it'll be nice and toasty and ready to eat. They look amazing. I actually made a little small one for myself because I had a ton of extra ingredients. So it was like incredibly fast. I have my little graham crackers here and all you have to do now is just dip and get some chocolate. Hold up, oh my gosh. It looks amazing. It's like gooey and chocolatey and basically I went camping but in the comfort of my own home. Mmm. <laughs> 
That is so good. So now that my table's all set and we have all the food and decor ready and ready for my friends to come over so that we can eat and take pictures and let the Friendsgiving festivities begin. Oh, I think my friends are here. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!